Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. I am clean with Barbie. Do you remember when I cleaned this amazing living room? So I just came back to help her more. So as I promised, I visited her again and today I will show you how I clean her bathroom and the kitchen. If you haven't seen that when I clean her living room and I told the story about her, I want to tell you she has some disability and she's not really young anymore so it's hard to clean her apartment. Unfortunately, her apartment is very, very old, and as you see, it's many damage on the furniture. Um, but you know, I just, I just try my best, and I think it's turned to really good and clean. Probably you are surprised when you see I'm using easy off degreaser on the bathtub and you can ask him like what? Why she is she using? Is she crazy? But no guys, this is body grease. So the degreaser works very well on the surface. It doesn't matter if it's a kitchen grease or grease from our body, it works well. And the first time I wanted to try which tools it works better on this bathtub, which one is the most effective. So I tried the scrub daddy sponge and just a regular brush and a cleaning razor. And my experience, these three things, these three tools is need for this bathtub. So I'm just using all of them. If you are interested about the products what I'm using, I will put the link in the description. The dirt on this side was very very suborn so it was hard to clean, I had to scrub a lot. Probably the reason is because I didn't let enough time for the degreaser to work well. Um, so here on this side I had to use a little comet powder and after everything went well. On the other side my job was much easier, you will see soon. Okay, so this is the point when I realized uh-uh, it's not working, so I decided to use a comet powder. You can share with me in comment what would you use for this bathtub. As you see on this side my job was much much easier, I used an under brush and more cleaning razor scraper, I don't know how you call this, and the dirt just came off well. Some people in comments start to attack me because I'm copying an other cleaner and let me tell you why I started to do this job. When I was 20 or 21, I had very, very deep and hard depression. And the doctor just gave me two pills 
and she told me I had to talk these pills and everything is gonna get better and it didn't happen everything just went really really bad so one day I just tried to kill myself with those pills I never went back to that doctor but I got stronger and I put all the pills by myself without any help my depression never came back but when I became a mom I realized how frustrating when our house is a mess I was alone with the baby all day long and my first son was very crying baby he cried all day long and I had no energy and no time to clean my house in my house I never had that condition what I used to show in my videos but it was simple bothering me the dishes in the sink or if I couldn't vacuum or couldn't wash the clothes when I want it was really hard to accept my baby is crying all day and I can't clean the house so that was that point when I started to watch cleaning videos on YouTube and I realized oh my gosh it gave me energy and motivation to start to clean my house and you know it's like in these videos always have a great music and and it's just it's just wonderful it gives you power to clean your house but I couldn't start this job right away when I got this motivation because that was that time when I was thinking about like probably I could do the same for someone else because I know how they feel but my kids was too little and I had to wait and let's go back a little bit for the cleaning what did I use here so bleach for the mold and get the tile very little bit white and a special product for the tile I will share the link in description and for the sink I used the barkeeper's friend and the pink stuff um, yes guys so this is what I was talking about it I tried my best I use great products but these furniture the tile and the sink is not new it's very very old but at least now it's clean so just because many people making cleaning videos on YouTube or other social media platforms or other cleaners help for free for people who's, who need help, it doesn't mean someone else cannot do this job, especially if that person know what those people feel. Did I get the motivation and the idea from other cleaners? Yes. I started my YouTube channel. Is it a bad thing? No. Did I have for many many people? Yes. So what is the point? This is the point. I am able to help for many many people. I don't care anything else. I really like my job. I really happy I started to do this and I'm really happy I am able to help for people. This is what it matters. Nothing else. Oh yes, and this is my favorite part. This toilet is, looks like a monster. It's very very dirty. But here it was enough only dishwasher and a great sponge. And look at this, the dirt is just melting down.
Look at the difference. Look at that, guys. Oh my gosh, I love it. It's beautiful. And I want to say a very, very big thanks for Midwest Magic Cleaning because he's always mentioned me in his video and he told a very great things about me and my job and he's a very great guy my plan and my dream is clean with him together in one apartment hopefully in the future it's gonna happen we already talk about this a little bit but we are too far from each other Is this what we call for satisfying cleaning? Yeah. For this door, I used a liquid comet. It was bleach and I think it works well. Of course, I had to scrub a little bit because we, again, we're talking about the year of dirt, but it turned beautiful and white. So guys, here you can see for only one second, almost here okay so sometimes i don't show the full cleaning and that doesn't mean i didn't clean for example inside the toilet because i did i just didn't record that so if you don't see something it doesn't mean i didn't clean i just don't show it because simply the video it's already too long or it's not interesting it's boring so yeah this is the reason and I really like to use my hand to wash um, floors like this because I think I can clean the floor much better with my hand and some brush than with the mop. And you can see some dark spot next to the toilet. This is why I don't like New York apartments, old apartments, because the landlord and the super is really doesn't care how it looks like. They're just finishing the job and it's gonna be fine. And here is a little bite about how the supers and the landlord works. Yep. And we are here in the kitchen. 
Um, so she is a butter and a container lady and when I say this I don't think anything bad it's very cute and she's a sweetheart I really like this lady she's so cute so she deserves all the help <laughs> okay guys this is my life when we're talking about me about Barbie imagine I am this all day long and this lucky I am what you're gonna see here BAM uh -huh. <laughs> Alright, so because as you see, this is organizing part and I started to throw out a lot of um, containers which you're not using anymore or it was too sticky or dirty or something. So I just throw away and I speed it up this part because it's not really interesting but what I, but my experience is fast cleaning it's always really effective for my brain and for other brains so this is how we feel the motivation in our brain like oh my gosh it's so easy to clean up i also can do this look at this how fast bam 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 and this is how the people start to clean their own house Probably now you're asking why I just didn't sweep up the dirt middle of the kitchen and the answer is I don't know, I forgot. Let me tell you guys, I am so proud of myself because I have ADHD so it's very hard to focus for things. Usually I start five kind of things in the same time and I never finish. And this channel is a year old and I'm super proud because I never lose to focus um, while I'm cleaning houses. Sometimes, yes, um, you could see in my videos, sometimes I'm just really standing middle of the mess, middle of the room and I'm thinking like, no. Like, like, this is the first house that I'm doing, which is of course not true, and I don't know what's the next. But after a couple of minutes later, I'm just thinking about it, what is the next step, what is the next move, and I just catch again. And I am so proud 
because this is very big job for my brain. I used to be tired, but not physically, not only physically, but my my brain, my, my head, it used to be super, super tired. But still, I'm here and I'm doing and I really enjoy it. As you see, except the, the cluttering, her kitchen wasn't bad, it wasn't in a bad condition, um, it was easy to clean, I did the dishes and I cleaned the oven, as you see the oven also, the dirt is totally normal, it's not bad, it was easy to clean, I just used a little degreaser and, and you know, um, regular sponge and a metal sponge and the burned part just came off very well and after the countertop was a, a very little bit dirty if I can say that but but not it, it wasn't bad in the microwave so it was it was nice it was easy and enjoyable to clean I like to clean matte surfaces like for example this thing and look at this I'm shaking the bottle and I have products this just goes everywhere anyway this is me I already told you so when you scrubbing a little bit this this things and it just turns amazing shiny and all the time when you look on the sink it's just like oh wow it's like like brand new So as you see, her microwave wasn't bad. I just wiped it out a little bit, but it wasn't greasy. It was it was white. 
and um, this is those part what I was talking before with the toilet brush like you can see I clean this side and you cannot see how I'm cleaning the other side um, but after later when I turn the the microwave away you can see for a minute for a moment sorry it's clean but sometimes i'm just cutting out or i'm not not recording that part when i'm cleaning for example here the microwave other side i don't know why as i told you probably is just not not interesting or, or my my brain is is focusing for something else oh the kitchen is almost done i just need to mop it At the first time i used this very very heavy mop and i decided like okay this is not not great it's not cleaning well and it's really hard to work with it so i just switched for another old mop but it was easier to work and because i wasn't satisfied with the result i just tried to clean up a little bit with my hand then then i told like okay now it's now it's great and i want to show you guys how beautiful is her living room after two weeks it's still amazing and please don't forget if you like my videos please like share and subscribe thank you for watching bye